Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Urban Cards, marketed as a, an economy roguelike deck builder. I'm very curious. This is one of those ones where I saw that, like I saw the tagline, I was like, how what I need to know. And I now I see a hammerhead shark with two glasses just draped over the top of his head. And I'm even more intrigued that this is the art style. And we got the, like the comic book-esque kind of, kind of art going on with an economy deck builder. I'm just so fascinated already. I had to check it out. Welcome to your first day at the office. Since you're new hire, I'm going to give you some pointers. So let's start a new game. See you on the streets. Okay. I've not played yet. This is first impressions. It's kind of the, the whole uh, shtick of the series. I'll show you the first half hour or so of the game and we'll work from there. Select your hand. The objective of the game is to amass a certain amount of money faster than your opponent. To do that, you must invest in businesses and workers that generate income for you. But you need money to hire and build, so the object piggy bank will give you $100 every turn no matter what. Uh, it's... I'll just say sure. I have no idea what's a good hand and a bad hand, so let's just say yes. Make $3,000. Remember to play workers and biz first. They are the base of a good economy. Be careful with your red number. If you get to $5,000 in debt, you lose. But don't worry too much right now. You'll find ways to deal with the debt. Okay. Make this amount, $3,000 to win. If you get to $5,000, you lose. Gotcha. So we have three different lanes here. The price slash rarity. Is in the upper left there. Card type. It's a worker. Earnings, 100. 100 every turn, I guess. Okay. He has... This one has a power. This one has a power as well. I imagine that's to uh, take down other units. Maybe if we put down the suit, it generates money. But if it gets knocked out, we obviously... We probably don't anymore. Steal. Oh! So this one earns us 100 every turn. This one steals 100 every turn. The henchman can steal... This henchman can steal from the opponent, but only if they have money. Okay. So we can... Can we play another one of these? It says this one... We can go in debt, so we could put this in here. Henchmen can protect or attack businesses. They only attack businesses and henchmen in the same lane. They also need a turn before being ready to attack. So should we... It looks like... So yeah, we, we can't go under right now. Okay, so we cannot hire them if we don't have money. We can go under, but we can't hire unless we have the money. All right, I gotcha. I am very intrigued to see how this pans out, especially when we add the, uh, like the businesses and such as well. Okay, so the worker... The workers are down here. Gotcha. But we can't... Yeah, we can't hire them yet. So we drag to attack. So they both sacrifice each other. Alright. Can I attack... <laughs> if I... Does it just automatically attack? He doesn't have any money. He doesn't have any money. Gotcha. So it really does seem like I should have put down the workers first. I mean, he's got the hundred. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we can steal the money now. All right, all right. Should I bank on him even having money? I could like, so there's some strategy now in just assuming that he has a hundred bucks. Maybe he doesn't even have a way to, oh, it's, 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 it's riskier. This gives us an extra hundred. I'm going to bank on him not having a, a way to spend his money. I know it's a little wild, probably, but I, I think that it might be... It might be an interesting play to literally just bleed him dry. Where he can't play any new units. Okay, so we got 400 bucks. Salesperson makes plus 100 per every biz you control. He looks a little, uh, a little evil. She's got some sharp teeth there. Magic tie, convert a henchman into a suit that works for you. All right, I think we, uh, I think we play the, today's the day. We play the suit there. Gotcha. All right. 
So is there a way, can we attack the worker? We cannot. Biz office. 400 and what, 200? Okay, so it's 400 and then I'm assuming that means 200 every single turn to draw an extra card. I think that that's probably not a good way to go right now. But if we put that, see, if we could put down both of these, because so, we do not get rid of our stuff every turn. Earnings 200? Wait, what? Why does it cost 400 and then it says 200, but then it also earns 200? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Let's, let's put it here. Businesses are great to generate income, but they also generate debt. The red number, and they can be destroyed by enemy henchmen. Okay. Okay, so I have my earnings, and then I also have my debt. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So this, it kind of means that we're going to want to make sure we're moving a little bit quicker as soon as we put down those businesses. I'm sure he has other ways to generate debt for me. Payday lender. Steal a hundred. One power. Henchman lender. Interesting. So... Can we... We can not bop that because we are not in the same lane. He does not have any more money. See, that is... Yeah, that's now the situation we're in. Convert a henchman into a suit that works for you. Bring it over here, punk. Thank you. So then I guess, yeah, that's... That's sort of the issue of going for these instead. If he ever gets money, we're going to make sure he doesn't get more. We're kind of just bleeding him dry, though. The man can't play. Make an extra hundred for every biz you control. There are workers. So the workers go on the How bottom. How much you to pay for that? So she's making us 200 because we have that other one right there. We can put down another bit. Can we have two businesses? Every time a business is upgraded, it makes plus 50 extra. Okay. So we upgraded. We combine them there. So instead, it's making 450. Because it's double stacked. 200 plus 200 plus 50. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we are just... Oh. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, you love to see it. Generating a hell of a lot here. Uh, So, Mike... I'm definitely not sure what the difference between this steel and the other steel is, so I'm going to pop that guy down. This henchman is a lender and can add debt. Ah, and give the money to you. So he steals, but he doesn't steal from the money they currently have. It adds to their debt. I don't know. I think we maybe, like, put down this suit. Today's the day. Today's the day. And just leave it for now. I think we could probably, uh, I think we could probably just bleed him dry and and get to the end here very very soon because the man like i don't need to steal anymore from him steal even <laughs> like we don't need to add down another unit that can steal we're already doing a-ok -okay. i think the poor man is just uh bescrewed we've done it and that's it good luck on your campaigns and remember practice is the core of any skill all right God, i love those glasses the fact that they just wrap over the top of his hammerhead victory Select a card to buy. What? Okay. So this gets, like, added to our deck, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Next turn, you earn plus 100 per worker you control. This is an action. Let's try it out. Just because it's new. You know, for this, the, the point of this. Oh, Slay the Spire. You can play two out of three campaign cards. Choose wisely. Tutorial tech? What? Oh, that was that was the okay. <laughs> that was one of the guys we were we were fighting against. Could fight against. New hand or keep the hand. Let's, let's do a new one. I want I, I want a suit in there, but I think we could get something else. Sure. Alright. We go second. We start with 400 debt. Oh, it carries over to the next... Okay, the next fight during the campaign here. Oh, that's interesting. 
I did think that that worked pretty well. This, you know what? It, it, it worked pretty well. Security officer to keep him safe. Sure. Just to cover our butt a little bit. Bring it on. If he puts down enough, if he puts down one, we can just literally smack him with it. All right. Can we attack him? No. Looks like he can attack, but I think it's just like, maybe we could attack her. Okay, I just wanted to see. I wouldn't have liked it, but I wanted to see if we could attack our own unit. The arcade it has four armor, generates a hundred. We cannot attack it because it's not in our lane. Do want to steal the money though? I could just like, I could just let him have it. I could just let him have it. Because that means when we get the uh, the money to put down this telephone telephone seller. Oh, hello there. Henchman Gamer. Not for long. Okay, so yeah, the fight the, the fight stat is a pretty simple one. I got you, got you, got you. They just clash at each other. They're, the attack and the health are all in one there. He double stacked the arcade. Yeah, now I feel like there's really not a lot we can even necessarily do about it. Super armored up. Plus 100 for every worker. Yeah, well, the fact that he has this means we know that we'll have money that we can steal from him. Online scammer. Oh, no. Okay, he put the guy in there to defend it. I feel like I just... Say no to the middle and just don't go for it. Right? We can play the suit next turn plus 100 for each worker because if we put this down well maybe let's try it out for, for the sake of science let's put that down there and see if we can attack through the building can we attack the, we can attack through the building all right i feel like that was a worthy worthy cause we got rid of both of those and then we can start stealing again don't mind if i do Put down a suit. Today's the day. Next turn, earn plus 100 per worker. I mean, this is a net neutral thing right now, so it's really not that big of a deal. I don't think we want to go for anything else. Seems good. Come on, ah! Convert a henchman into a... Okay. I think it's worth it. We get extra money. We don't have to worry about the... Uh, the guy stealing from us as much cash bonus. See, this is uh, this does give us an extra 100 next turn. Yes, we could wait. Maybe we could get a better one, but we don't have any other workers. I feel like maybe I should be putting down my office. I, I'm just a little concerned about the uh, the max debt now. I, we got a lot left, so maybe I shouldn't be too concerned. Steal, steal. Yeah, we're at 950 now. I think we can. I think we can bleed him dry. I think we can convert into bleeding him dry now. The question is like, maybe I put down this. So, because if he's down there and ready for someone else, he can't really put anybody in that lane now. Other henchmen can't attack the troll. Oh, okay. So I don't have a good way to actually handle that. You can slowly take down my business. The internet troll. Double stack it. Double stack it. Plus 100 for biz. I, I wonder... So, okay. So, this only counts as one business. I do kind of want to know what happens if we uh, if we try to double stack businesses on the same same one there. Yeah, we did lose one of our, uh, one of our punks. I mean, we're getting close to victory here. What happens if we do this? Oh, I should have been doing that then, huh? I guess, uh, for some reason, I thought we might take penalty back. We should have been doing that the whole time. Or was that the first... That might have been the first time we could. Um, hmm. Can we triple stack a lane? We cannot. Good to know. Sure. Does he steal... Does he steal from his debt and remove from ours? Or does he add to our current money? He adds to our current money. Okay. 
poor guy's got nothing. He's not even drawing drawing any more cards. Like I guess it's just because of our decks are so small at this point. All right. Yet another main office. I mean, I guess so. We need to. We need more. Okay. Event. Let's check it out. What? What? What's that? What do we got? Recruiting new staff is a lot of work, and after many a boring interview, you need to select a candidate between these. So they're more expensive, plus 100 per biz per biz you control. We can have we can have up to three. We could have three different businesses. That actually could be good now. All right. So two out of three, we skip one. Tutorial boss. Oh, boy. Look at you. I wonder if... Uh, I mean, is this just the final boss of this whole, like, this run? The tutorial run? I think it might be. Telephone seller, main office. Sure. Good enough. So, who goes first here? I do. Let's go for it. Security officer to defend it as well. Let's try that opener out. See how that works. Compete. Wait, hold on. What? Compete makes plus 50 if you control other workers with compete. Okay. Can't do anything. It's a, it's a worker. Not much we can do right now. Doesn't have any money. Doesn't mean he won't. Let's do that. I like that. I, I like that, that turn there. He's going to make a little bit of money. All right. If we don't sacrifice we're gonna have to deal with it i think we re-up that boom daddy-o how much money you make 100 and 100 200 to turn 300 to turn it says right in the upper upper there okay i kind of want to save my money maybe we can get a main office down next turn 300 will be at 600 dollars yeah, let's, let's bank on him not uh being able to spend his money for some reason. Ah, uh, he can. Startup earns plus 100 if you only have workers. So, yeah, you should, right? 300. Oh, it earns zero if you don't. Okay. It earns nothing otherwise, but it doesn't cost any debt. Okay. I'm seeing like a lot. I, let's, let's check this out. Ah, okay. So you can only there can only be one business. So let's take over this location over here. While we still can, and there's not much. Interesting. We can't be as aggressive as I want to be, because this person needs to have money to do anything. Yeah, I mean we're generating money over time here. We're we're doing okay. Uh, this should give us quite a bit. And the thing is, if if they can only have workers to generate money, yeah, then we can just put that guy there, and in a little bit, this is gonna go away unless he puts down somebody to defend it. Makes plus one hundred only if you control a biz. Well, we can get rid of that problem pretty soon here. I mean, this is, this will work. Today's the, day. Today's the day. Next turn, earn plus 100 for each worker. Eh. Let's wait until that, you know, at least gives us a, a better net. Same thing. I kind of want to wait. Next turn, we'll be able to kill that there. Right? Yeah. I think this is this looks I mean it's a tutorial so I would imagine that <laughs> it probably should be relatively simple, relatively easy to to bop them. But ooh mama. Should should have stolen and attacked this then stole with that. Still good. And then main office, boom. Now he has he has to get aggressive if he wants to uh do anything there. Convert henchman into a suit. 
Oh, we could even do it on our own? I mean, I don't think we need to. I think we do this, we win next turn. Because we're going to gain 1,600. We're at 1,800. Ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'm wrong? Oh, gold's 4,000 this time. There's nothing really matters here. We win. We win, you got nothing, punk. Tutorial complete. It's a, it's a it's a pretty good tutorial. I like it when the tutorials are kind of just, you know, like straightforward. Like this is what the game is. This is what you're going to be playing. Uh let's check out a let's check out what starting a new campaign looks like. Definitely gonna pick a different class. Oh my god. Most expensive real estate in Hughes County, where the tall shiny towers can blind your eyes. Expensive scent can make you sneeze. Here you walk into echoing halls. Massive fortune with the tried and true methods of speculation and insider trading. This is the realm of millionaire CEO, the walking suit, and the smile of Lenny's shark. No. What? This is like, okay, so this is like the tech industry. This is, okay. Container ships, scale the hyperbole. This is industry. Gotcha. You know what? Gas Town. Uh, let's check it out. Select your deck. There's three different starter decks. Enemy robbers have a 10% chance of not even stealing. Cool deal, man. Elections are coming up, so the governor of Hughes County has lowered the taxes for your for companies of your income bracket. Result, you're not getting your money. You are getting your money back. Hey, you voted for the more progressive candidate, but on the other hand, you do need a pair of fabulous boots. You, you get 2,000, and next game you'll start with plus 300. Okay. All right, so shop. Gamers! Let's fight the game. Let's fight the gamers. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Phantom of the Trolley. Old warehouse adds a random object to your hand. I don't even know what an object card is right now. Can move from one street to another. They have two, two damage. Businesses you control make an extra hundred. Sure, let's try it out. Phantom of the Trolley. So the max debt is about the same. Goal is, okay. Molotov, deal one damage to a biz per turn. Oh my God. We could double stack the oh, one warehouse. Why not? The arcade. Pawning. Make fifty car fifty dollars per card in your discard pile. Okay. Three hundred. I feel like let's go for this. Right? I am a ghost. I am a ghost. We have Do we have anything in our discard pile right now? I don't think so. Yeah, definitely a different style. Upgrade a biz with plus two defense. Okay. That's kind of like they're unique there. Make plus 50 per card in your hand. Oh. I definitely want to get that down right now because we're going to be getting this extra, the extra random object every single turn. I like the idea of that. Just hoarding a lot of objects. Would you please, IT guy? Slingshot deals one damage to a henchman. We don't got no henchmen. All right. That's a net game. That's a net game. And I think we just sit on our money now. We sit on our money for now because we get more by not playing our objects right now. Rat of the alley. Henchman thief. Enemy makes minus 200 if they make... 1,000 or more per turn. Oh my god, and he can steal 200. All right. All right, I'm for it. And then next turn, we can consider doing one damage to the business so we can take it out. Ha <laughs> ha, too easy. Oh my god. Come on, it's free. 
Oh my god. He just, uh, he just went to town. Maybe we just let this live. And we try and just squeak out. We just need 3,000 to win. So we're, we're very, very close to getting that. What is our discard pile? Is, the, is this it? Is the two our discard pile? Or is that... No, that's our... Like, our objects. Okay. Tempted to deal one damage to this, this guy here. I don't think it really... Actually... That'll probably pay for itself. That'll probably pay for itself. Alright, I think we're good. That's not gonna die. I think we're fine. What the hell is that? Make plus 200 per business. Okay, it's just a henchman. Big steal. Where are we at? How many cards are in a discard pile? Is it the seven? Eh? Okay. We should have... Mm, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think if we want, we can trade that just to try to guarantee that this guy doesn't get bopped. We'll win next turn. We win next turn. No, no need to get all, all worried. Oof. Okay. $600 in debt there. I wonder if there's going to be ways... Uh, there probably is, in through events and stuff, to reduce our debt in the future. Adds a random object to your hand. Just another another old warehouse. When a biz card is played, this earns 100. And he steals. This is a this got a discount, though. And we do have to buy it. That's okay. It's got a discount. Unlocked cards are now in the pool. Fake pistol. Equipped henchman gains steal 100. This is There's a lot of very clever implementations of, of the two genres in a very, like, smooth and easy to understand way. Like, when I, when I heard Economy Deck Builder, those are two genres that can often... They often have the potential to become over convoluted really easily and be too full of themselves and maybe like add way too many key keywords and code keywords in the sense of like a deck builder that are maybe too complicated. And then there is obviously like economy style games, uh, strategy, strategy simulation style games can, can just be very, very deep. And the way that these are too blended or it's it's straightforward and it's really it, it's not too hard to to get, uh, and I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm I'm very pleased with what I see, and the style is obviously like it's really up there. It's it's a very hyper stylized one here, and I think I want to go to the shop just to Hello. see what that looks like. Come here, I may just have what you're looking for. Okay, and so special objects are basically our artifacts makes. Another fifty dollars when you play a henchman. Robbers you control steal an extra fifty. Adds a hundred debt to the enemy every turn. Adds an extra defense to your business. Harbor workout workhorse. Oh my god, he's a mech. Port brewery. All boys build a brewery. Henchmen on this street gain plus one attack. Fine. Boys build a brewery. I feel like I kind of. I mean, it's a lot, but next uh... sure. We got it. We got it. We go aggressive here. We go aggressive here. Is that our money? Or is this our money? Or this our debt? That's our debt. All right. Debt and trade. Okay. Just I do need. I do want to know. I want to know what all these different events are. Listen, kid, playing indie games doesn't make you rich. Invest your time in something else. What'd you like to do? Pay up to 2,000 debt. 
for 25% interest. <laughs> I mean, I'm... <laughs> sure. Sure. There we go. No debt. It's like a heel. But we are pretty, pretty down there. Okay, select a card, then make me an offer. Uh, plus 50 per henchman, plus 50 per card in your discard pile. We could go all in on... No, I, I don't really want to go all in on the old warehouses. If I could do this... Yeah, that would have been a good trade. But we could... Oh, wait, that stuff stays in our hand? That's interesting. Maybe if we add that okay and we can kind of thin down our deck that way too Ooh, that's interesting oops well obviously he's not gonna take that Steel, dude. oh okay okay so what does our deck look like Whoa, now what is that? back to work what do we got so we got three of the old warehouses we can stack and the harbor depot these obviously like synergize well Is this a random object from our deck? Like, did I ruin... Did I ruin something there? Let's do another one of these here. Alright. I kind of... I, I'm not sure. It's a little expensive. We can't just pick and choose by one. Started up. I think that's a good good way of going about it. So, okay. That does add it to our deck. It kind of junks up our deck in a way. The objects may go away immediately. Indie. <laughs> Look at that. It's an indie dev company. Earns 100 if you control the dev. Otherwise, it gives us nothing. All right. Uh, so, we actually can't do anything this turn. Unless we wanted to play the trolley to try and kill that. I'm not too concerned about it right now. Okay. All right, so we uh, we did answer our, our debt question. So I'm pretty pleased pleased to know that. We got these two locations all settled there. I got this. Worker. So this is not, not a dev, though. Not a dev. <laughs> Equipped henchman gets plus 100 steel. I don't know if it's worth it to try and start to get rid of that. Alright, 450 next turn. Do we get anything for that? I gotta know. Perfect. Okay, so that gives us the ability to put down the rat of the alley next turn. He's a chonker. Okay, is that it? Ah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so he's starting to get the money now. But that's okay. That's okay. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Next turn, we should be able to steal pretty big, right? Can we only... Okay, so if we steal 250 and he only has like $50, I wonder what would happen. We might find out here. No. All right, steal. Draw two cards, select one. See, we don't have anywhere to put our Harbor Depot. Is kind of the issue of not going for that. Let's let's start to get rid of that. Peddler, he's a worker. Draw two cards, select one. Oh, Nelly, we got options. Let's start to let's see if we can get rid of this actually. Okay. I want to keep him alive, and I don't want to waste a turn. I don't want to waste a turn on it. Plus one every single turn forever? Oh. Man. Add three attack to a henchman. Turtle shove. That's uh... Oh. 
Okay, well, it looks like that actually will answer that problem for us, huh? Oh, boy. We could we could move over. We probably should have moved over. We still we couldn't kill it though. We couldn't kill that guy. He's going to take that spot. Yeah. Want to take what we can here. Maybe if we like I'd want to bleed him dry, but he's making 750 a turn. This is a he's a formidable foe. For next turn there let's just let's put down some workers generate a little bit of extra there's the brewery henchmen on this street gain one attack see i think that we should just stack these i guess and the fact is don't have a random object there okay it's got six defense it's probably just gonna go away oh my god oh my god we're getting wrecked. Steal the money, of course. That takes his whole turn. Okay. If we double stack this, does it gain the extra armor? It does indeed. Up to 12? Okay. A little cheesy. Just waiting for him to take down mine just to slip in the big boy. But I think it'll work. He's He's got to go in on it. Oh, boy. This is on fire. It's slowly going. This is tough. This is tough. I can't do anything about this. He's going to kill my rat, man. going to kill my rat, man. Oh, jeez. I think we might lose this. We might just end up losing this. That turtle shell, like, really made it so I didn't have a great way to solve that. So if we kill this, trade 1-1. One, one. Let, 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 let's pretend. Let, we trade 1-1. One, one. What happens then? This has four. It kills it in two turns. Otherwise, it kills it in two turns anyways. We move him over here. We regret moving <laughs> We We move him over here and regret moving him over there in the first place. And we start taking that down. We're going to lose this this next turn, which is going to be pretty bad. All right. No point spending money on the uh, on the fake pistol, I don't think, here. That is truly, truly depressing right there. If we take down this, he's going to lose a huge chunk of his income, though. And it's kind of just like... We just have to see how it plays out from there. And I think he won't have any buildings... I'll have this building. It'll actually go well because we can put down the brewery if we need to. We can give the fake pistol to steal the extra money. No, but he's going to make it to 3,000 first. No! No! Because we can't steal. And even if we gave the steal 100... No, we're so close! We were so close! No! We were so close. Is that so? Is that total defeat, or does Better. that put us in debt? At least when you file for bankruptcy, you can shake off the creditors. Don't let them see I'm giving you help. Remove a thousand debt and add it to your competitor. Okay, so now we're just uh, we're just deeply in debt. Or do we have a? Uh, we might have like a come back from the dead once or something. Like an extra life. Let's give it another go. Give it another go. Definitely much uh, much tougher. Maybe we shouldn't... Maybe this isn't a game where thinning out your deck is a, is as good of a strat. Normally in every deck builder, I think thinning it out really helps. But I think that we want to have one really strong building. Harbor Depot, make plus 50 for each card in your hand. Can't even do that one yet. But since it kind of like... You go through your deck and you only play it once and you don't like keep redrawing and everything. That makes a pretty big difference. 
I need, I do want that dead, but I think we... I don't have anything to do. I just hope that he doesn't take th up this slot here. I, got this. I think we do want that gone. All right. Well, we take over this because now we can just re-up these. I'm really, I am really hoping that we do get a, uh, I got we also, this. our deck, or our, our debt does stack up. So losing really can, it could add up over time. Even if it didn't seem like it was a big deal then. I think if we can get rid of this before he gets a dev out, that could be a big deal. That is the same thing that caused us a problem before. Blackmail. Remove a thousand of your debt added to the competitor. Hey. I, like, I kind of want to bleed him dry. But I think that killing this dev studio... Like, this is... I think this is a lost cause. Like, I think I, I abandon all ye who enter here. And then we just work on the, uh, the Harbor Depot. Because I don't really have a good way to, to handle that guy. I think we start to kill the dev studio. Because it's going to... Like, yes, stealing right now helps us now. But this... If we can get it out of the way... I don't know if he has any way to make money... Besides the base. Hmm. Businesses you control, make an extra hundred. This will this will pay for itself over time. Over time. I think that we're gonna have more than three turns left. Oh, that's annoying. That one damage. Programming. Programming. Uh, Okay. I'm ready. Sure. Get rid of our debt. It's your debt now, punk. So then we can attack this. Next turn we can get it with get it dead with this and then we can go back to uh go back to stealing. All right. All right. Hula la. the hell yeah i'm not entering that space over there this is looking bad henchman on and its street gain plus one attack hmm. take the money this is looking way better if we can keep him alive i think it'll be good Definitely should have done this first. Oh, it buffs him up too? That's uh, that's interesting. Okay. All henchmen get the plus two. That's interesting. All right. Well, we'll be able to defend ourselves pretty well. This is... Ooh, this is... Oh, yeah, he does have another dev studio. Oh, my. Oh, my. I think we'll be okay because he's overloaded here with ways to defend this in indie studio. And I think at this point, I'm just going to let it happen. This Harbor Depot has got a lot of defense. So I'm not too worried about these guys taking it down. My question is like, should I put, should I put this guy down? I don't know if I like having him in my deck you that much. Me. Draw two cards, select one. We don't have any cards. See, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we don't have any cards left. It's definitely an, a, a different meta game than like a Slay the Spire or a Monster Train when you when you consider what you're ooh, what you're adding to your deck. Yeah, I kind of don't love that I have the Port Brewery here anymore. 
it's really not even helping us very much. Okay. Old warehouse can't go anywhere. I think we have this sorted better than he does. Like if he if he breaks that down, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bummer. But I think we're gonna hit. I think we're gonna hit max next turn. We are, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Okay. Do we want... Hmm. I do like this guy. Decent amount. He ain't bad. He's 50% off. Sure. We do want a thicker deck. Unlocked deck is now available. Okay, so that's another character in the same kind of like clan. Selected enemy worker makes zero dollars. Ooh. Suits lenders. You know I gotta check out the events. That investment in solar in solar energy in a solar energy farm you made out of principle. And for posting about that you were secretly wetting your pants about, it's really taking off paying your wonderful dividends. Let the sunshine in. We've removed a thousand debt for free. I no problem, man. Great. So this is a, does this mean they're tougher? Kind of. Let's go with the tougher one. Let's why not? Why not? Hit me. Hit me. Car in your hand. Eh, I want something else. Yeah. I think I like that better. I like starting with the warehouse that we can play. It just feels nice to have something to play right away. Okay. I think this is actually really good. Because you can like start to take down something without even being in that lane. Like. Right now. No, not right now. Next turn. And we can have it dead in four turns. Do it. Do it. We can just... It's better than stealing. Just make it so he doesn't get to do nothing. Add a random object. We can make it even stronger. Sure. Let's just care about ourselves for a little bit, huh? Oh, he made it stronger. Honestly, I'll do it. that may not be that beneficial for him in the end here. So next turn. Eh, there'll be the one fire, I, I think, that goes down on my turn. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I feel like stealing is actually a good way <laughs> to go for... Uh, oh. We could triple stack it. Oh. Triple stack it. And then if we actually give him this, we can start to use him to steal as soon as this building goes away, which it should next turn. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Yeah, he gets so much money to play with, and he's going to start to steal from me. If I steal a hundred right now, I can force him to attack me instead. We want to fill that space so that he doesn't. This is weird. Yeah, he's going to start stealing my money. It's okay. Yeah, that's right. I thought that would happen. And then we get to and now we get to steal from him directly. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. 50 for every card in your discard pile. We could add to this, but I think that what I do want to do is put this guy here. Hope way. hope desperately that he wants to bot me. So that I don't have to try and bop him. He's, but almost certainly he's going to just try to steal from me there. I'm going to save this until later. So we can try to just win with it. Yep, I'm actually really pleased with that. What's happening? 
No! Oh, no. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right. Um... Jimmy Christmas. Save the pawning for last, because we don't need the money right now. Oh, God. Earns right, plus 100 if you only have workers. So you, it's not even getting that much of his money from this. Okay. I think we just... Uh, I think we're just on autopilot now. And I think we will come out ahead... I think we'll come out ahead. If, if this is his last card, I think we do. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We win next turn, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Give me your money. Oh, the goal is 5,000. That's right. Um. Yeah, we can shuffle you over there. Near the end of the game, the Harbor Depot is a lot less good. Hmm. Interesting. It's a lot less solid. Get out of here. All right. Next turn we get, though. Woo. Interesting. Selected business makes zero dollars for three turns. That sounds pretty fun. Makes plus 50 per card in your discard pile. Selected enemy worker makes zero. Forever? Oh, wow. But I think that getting a, a, the ability to stack up our business to a <laughs> double business is a better way to go there. Another deck unlocked. Okay. Enemy can't make more than $500 per turn last three turns. <laughs> Scratch and win. Pay $200 debt. Oh, man. Okay, so that's stuff that's just unlocked that we can get later. We don't have it now. Debt and trade. Trade some of our money. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get rid of that debt. So I don't have, just don't have to worry about it. Um... Selected henchman gains one attack. It's kind of nice. What would we sacrifice, though? I do... I, I really like that there's a lot of... You can have a lot of trading. I would love to make that trade. Oh, really? Um, 400 for 400. It is not... I'm not interested in that. What about if... A tr oh, for one. Okay, it's only for one. I do want the peddler kind of gone. I, I'm not as excited about them. Maybe if we... I feel like they do, do that trade, though. Good deal. All right. Gamers. <laughs> Gamers. That's a random object. You know what? So we, we get 300, right? So we do we get a hundred only if we go second? No, okay, there we go. I always play on the left. Why not play in the middle? Doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't matter the play the starting turn there. Beep, boop, beep. Business you control. We don't have any. Should we? It's double stacked. I think we. Um, I'm a ghost. I think we start to bop it. It's super. It's super armored up. Let's let's get it. We can put him down both here right now, and then maybe we could even then we could put down the brewery. I don't know. Play a fanboy token with one attack. Okay, that's what you do. Kind of want to let him. Come to me. Yeah, he's, he's making the, the big bucks over me. Oh, he's playing it over there? 
Okay. What on earth even was that? So then we can even just like scoot him over. And trade one for one there. I don't know why, like, I don't care about it really right now, I guess. But I, yeah, I had a feeling he would do that, just knowing the AI right now. I'll do the code. I'll do the code. All right, Harbor Depot. You know what? Boom. Boom. Bring it. I got all of them here. And then the, if we do these. Oh, okay. Well, henchmen on their street have plus one attack. Well, slightly, slightly less boom then. But if we play both of these, we're going to make quite a bit of extra money. Move you over. I'm going to do it. I want to, I want to protect the building. I want to protect the building. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my God. That's a problem. I really was hoping we would draw the thing that would increase the size of that. I think we just, um, Not my way. I think we just go for this. Protect our, try to protect our lead as much as we can right now. He's going to take that down. There's not much we can do about it. Should have maybe, yeah, he did the trade for me. I was going to say maybe should have moved him over here. Earns plus 50 per gamer you control. Well, we can sabotage it. And bop it. Do we have enough money to do both of these? We do. We have enough money to do literally everything. All right. Huge, huge investment. But I think it's for a good uh, a good amount. We have 1350 that we're making. Out of only two buildings here is a really... I think that's a really good situation. It's, if you have another one of these stinkers, I'm going to be mad. Okay. It's fine. So we'll steal all that. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Please don't have any more units. You really? Oh god. Really? I think we're gonna win before that takes it down. So I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Over the course of time, this would become an issue, but we're good. That's what I was gonna say. I, I, I think that that the trajectory of that. Would be relatively stanky. But it doesn't matter. We don't have to see that. Um, I actually really liked that. Pay 200 debt. When a biz card is played, earns 100. Sure. <laughs> Stack the deck up with this discounted cards. Event. Show me what you got. Our, our debt is it's getting down there. The investment in solar energy. Oh, yeah, we already saw that. Removed a thousand debt for free. Good deal. Hey, you. Come in. What do you got, baby? 50% chance of starting the game with plus $100. 25% 20 chance of earning a, an extra 100 every turn. 5% chance of stealing 100 per turn. Starts with five cards instead of four. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. All those percentages stacked up together sh should mean something. Oh, is this the final boss of year one? That's AKA like Ascension one? It, I think it might be. All right. Don't like that start. It's a better start. Better start. Ooh, 
we got the extra extra big bucks to start with let's play on the right lane all right what do you got pigeon drop two cards and select one okay we could put down this just to I, I think we do it for now we can move him to somewhere else uh, you know if it if he puts down a building Okay. This is really good early and gets gets bad later. I guess we just he doesn't have a building it or anything down like Huh. You'll need protection. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I think we're fine. Adds a random object to your hand. So yeah, I feel like that goes well with this whole uh, plus 50 per card in your hand. What the hell? Okay, I did one damage to the henchman. So if we put this club on you, we could take down the pigeon, or we could make it so the pigeon has to take down... Uh, oh... Oh, never mind. Hello. All right. Got an extra club there. You know what? Let's just keep on. We'll make you chunky. Make you chunky. We're fine. We're, we're, we're laying down the law. This is just a pigeon. Pigeons can't do. Uh. Convert. Enemy henchmen into pigeons with one attack. Oh. Okay. I understand. Are you gonna ever do any... Are you ever gonna play anything, though? That's... I mean, I, I guess that's pretty rough. Pigeon on pigeon. Smacking. Like, I, these sabotages are burning a hole in my pocket. This sucks. At least you didn't turn my big rat man. I'd love to draw another one of these just to buy an extra turn, to be honest. Oh no! Pigeon lady's got a gun! Pigeon lady's got a gun! Your package on time. Oh man. We're out of the alley. I mean. Shoot. Can take down the brew, right? You can put this down, then he might feel like he is inclined to attack my guy my way. instead. I don't know, just to try to cheese the AI out. I doubt that it's gonna happen, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <laughs> The middle's to oh, oh, oh no, oh no, we're gonna get bopped. This brewery's just, it's just, it's not helping me at all. You don't even have any money. No pigeons do no business. Like these sabotages were. I shouldn't have even done that. Sabotages are all I got, man. Oh, Jiminy. They killed my rat. I, I don't think there's... I think I'm toast. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we just... We, we don't have anything to put it on. I think we just keep it in our hand and hope that we just happen to get to the max first we still have some cards we put down this they attack they attack probably right 
I'm not really worried about that. That's going to stay alive. If I club... I think they're going to attack, attack, so I don't think that I even bother with the club. Because that just means I get to have an extra card in my hand. Oh, no. They did it. They did it. Oh. Oh. Uh. There's all your buildings. Oh, there's all your buildings. Well, we got... You know what? The sabotage is going to pay dividends, though. Definitely going to pay dividends there. This is going to go away. So the whole money situation is less relevant. Okay. We might... Win? Based off of this building, mostly, and the sabotage? That's fine. That's fine. We have one card left. We can see what the heck we even got left to, to make magic happen here. Three hundred. I mean, he's just letting this live. So I think that will be good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are... <sighs> he's only making 400 bucks. The, the reason he's got so much is because of the stealing, but I think... Oh, God. Pigeon's got a gun. Oh, no! All right. We're toast. Oh, no. We're toast, aren't we? We don't do anything. We don't play any cards. We need, the, we need these in our hand. Um... This is, this is tight. That's fine. Seven. Okay. We, if we play sabotage, we, I don't think we need, I don't think we do it. Because, okay. So their turn, 3,300, no, 3,400. We don't do it. We don't do it. Because this... We win this... No, we don't win this next turn because of the stealing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. If we don't sabotage, they win, right? If we do sabotage... 400, 500, 600. No! We should have sabotaged! We would have sabotaged last turn. We would have been okay. We're playing to 10,000. Oh my god. All right. Well, we're even more screwed if we're playing to 10,000. We 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 lose. Never mind. All right. Yeah. Just going to get Is there like a uh just let him win? Oh yeah, there is up there. Totally. Yes. All right. Defeated by pigeons with guns. There's no way we would have won that over time. If the, if it was to 50,000, we would have squeaked. We would have just, just squeaked by. All right. Well, that's been Urban Cards. I'm really definitely fascinated to see what all these different gamblers, Harbor Gamblers Random generated randomly with code magic you get to start with these different artifacts i'm sure there's different ones for here as well but that is gonna do it for today in let's try this has been like i said uh urban cards <laughs> took me a moment it's been urban cards you can get it yourself there's a link in the description if you want to check it out if you want to subscribe to the channel i can show you all kinds of cool new games roguelikes and more every single day here if you want to see more of this game Leave a like on the uh, on the video. It helps tell me 
that you want to see more comments do that as well subscribing doesn't help with with that aspect of it but it does help you find the cool new games but thank you for watching thank you thank you my name has been Retromation, and i will see you next time